Hi friends, I hope you're having an amazing day. I'm just coming to you for just a couple minutes because I wanna share with you that right now I feel it's so important for us to keep our health up. And we're really being told to stay home, to work all of our things that we need to be doing to um, live that life of health. Some of us feel like those things have been taken from us. So maybe you're used to going to the gym. Maybe you're used to going to a yoga studio. Maybe you're used to doing all these different social outings and your social outlets have been taken away. So I think right now that it's a little bit natural for us to feel out of balance. Some of us may even feel stuck and we're looking for those natural ways to still live in health, still find balance. And I just wanna encourage you today that so many people out there are truly sabotaging their own results. So I wanna share with you a couple different ways that you can stop sabotage, sabotaging no matter what because we are in this time. It is not our fault that we're stuck in our homes, but we can make the best of it, right? So number one is I want you to stop ignoring those stress signals. One of those things is when we're talking stress signals, we're talking about a lot of it is mindset because I believe that what we focus on, we actually bring about. But number two, um, I want to give you an, a little bit of an example where I was really ignoring my own stress signals in my life, right? I used to be 100% type A. Now, I'm kind of recovering from that, and I'm trying to find in that middle ground a little bit more balance. But the truth is, is I was always in the gym working out. I was working myself, even if I was on a salary job, I was still over the top, you know, working over my 40 hours just to make sure that I was doing the best job possible. I was the yes man, right? When it comes to my relationships, I did not know how to say no. I was constantly, yes, I'll do this. Yes, I'll do that. Filling my plate with so many chores that I could never take care of myself. Now, this is really one area that I try to help my clients focus on today. And that is learning to balance, learning to honor your body and learning that it truly is okay to miss that day in the gym. It truly is okay to tell even your boss or your friends, no, I'm sorry, I can't fulfill those duties because I need to honor myself. So number one was stop ignoring your stress signals and tune into your body. Number two is avoid comparison. We never know what other people are going through. And we, we find it so easy to compare ourselves to other people. Maybe it's through jealousy. You know, maybe it's through um, wishing we had what they had. Maybe it's how can they have this job, take care of these kids, work out, have this fit body. How come they can lose weight and I can't lose weight? Why am I always sick and they never are? You know, and we're constantly comparing, comparing, comparing but those things are only gonna keep us sick. If we're constantly comparing to our, ourselves to someone else and worrying about what we don't have that they do have, then guess where that places our focus? It places our focus on the things that we don't have. And wherever we place our focus, those are the things that are actually gonna grow. So I encourage you to stop comparing yourself to others, and really learn to personalize your fitness routine, your relationships, your family, all those things to fit your personal needs. Number three, I want you to consider releasing your all or nothing attitude. And so many times I have clients come into my practice and they're like, I failed, I'm done. And you just can't have that kind of attitude, right? We're going to make mistakes. We're going to fall off the wagon. We're going to have too much sugar. We're going to miss a workout. Um, we're even going to let our family down. We're going to let our friends down. But that doesn't mean that we give up on life. So I want, I want to encourage you today to just release that all or nothing attitude. And if it helps you, create ways with friends and family right now, even online, of ways that you can hold each other accountable, right? So there's two ways that I can help with that actually. And one of those is, you know, you can hire someone like myself or hire someone like another personal trainer 
or a coach or a practitioner that can really work with you during this time. I'm getting so many messages from people right now and they're like, I am overeating. I am not working out. I feel so lazy. All of these different things. And the truth is sometimes we just need a little bit of accountability. So I've created a group and um, I do a lot of just posting in that group and things like that. And people sometimes comment, sometimes they don't, and that's okay, but I'm just there to kind of encourage, and that's why I keep this page going too, is just to encourage people. And I encourage you to do the same. Just really start um, creating that community where you meet with like-minded people that you can begin to encourage one another because we are secluded right now and it's easy for us to kind of sink down and just get caught up in our own world of loneliness and laziness and all those different things. So I encourage you to create that community around you um, during this upcoming time while we're locked in our homes for who knows how long, right? And I'm doing that coming up soon by creating a sleep challenge. Um, so listen up for that. It's going to be absolutely free. I think sometimes right now I've talked to a lot of people and we're staying up way too late. We're watching TV. We're not taking care of ourselves. So I want to do something really simple and I'm going to be giving away a beautiful prize for the winner. So my sleep challenge has three rules. Number one is you sign up. Number two is that you are in bed by 10 p.m. and that you post a picture of that and tag me on it. Uh, post your proof. And then number three is that you use a hashtag that I'm going to be sharing with you once you register. So if you would like to join my free sleep challenge, then I want you to stay tuned and I'll eventually post the link in these comments. And for every time you post and you kind of follow the sleep challenge rules, you're going to be entered into a drawing. And at the end, the drawing is a free session with me and I'm going to help teach you a very cool, awesome relaxation technique to help you enter into a state um, where you can kind of overcome a lot of the stress that we're facing. So the value of that session is $250. So please make sure that you register when I post the link below. Um, there's really no excuse right now for us not living in health. I know that, you know, so many people are saying I don't have time or I don't have the energy or don't want to put the effort forth. But right now, you know, we have time to cook a little bit more. We have time to work out a little bit more. We have time to spend with our families a little more than we usually do. So this is truly the time to create some of those amazing, beautiful habits. Now, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about this topic. So if you're enjoying the content, then look for my next health inspiring blog. Um, it's going to be coming out on Tuesday. If you're not on my newsletter, you're, you'll get a copy of it there so you can let me know. I can add you to that or it's posted on my website at chelseaward.com. Remember, social, um, social distancing wasn't really our idea, you know, but we can make the best of it. We can choose to make the best of it. So I want to encourage you this time to just listen to your body, tune into what it needs and really take authority over your own health. So this is Chelsea Ward, and I still believe every day that you can make the best and you can live happy, healthy, and whole. Until we meet again, you guys have an amazing day.